So this is my intro to vibraphone video. And uh, this is by far one of the coolest instruments in percussion. Uh, so these keys are made out of metal. And I believe they're made out of aluminum. You can use hardcore mallets or softer mallets for different types of articulation. A little harder. Okay, so you know we're playing on metal keys. It's very loud, very articulate. It has a different sound than the wooden instruments, the xylophone and the marimba. We have the pedal here. This allows the, uh, the, the keys to vibrate. Let's try it with harder mounts. Now, vibraphone's off. Also, uh, I think in most cases, I'm not sure if I've seen any that don't have it, but they have a motor built into it that is electrical. And with a switch, you turn the motor on and it has these little fans that go inside of the resonators. And what they do is they close, like if this is a resonator, it closes it, then it opens it, and then it closes it, and then it opens it. And it creates kind of a wah sound. Now on some vibraphones, you can control the speed of that wah-wah. On this particular model, we cannot do that. Now something you want to be mindful of is when you're not using the motor, you want to make sure the fans are in an open position so that the uh, resonator can vibrate with the pitch and create volume. If it's in a closed position, it'll be quieter. So let's talk about pedaling for a moment. So we have a pedal down here. The purpose of the pedal is obviously to stop the note from ringing when you want it to stop. You would do this if there's a rest. So let's say I'm playing three notes and then a quarter note rest. Another time you would do this is if you want to prevent notes from bleeding into each other. So for instance, if I'm playing all of these notes. With all of them ringing at the same time, it's very dissonant sounding, not very pleasant to listen to, very muddy. So what you could do is you could pedal maybe every couple notes. So I played the exact same thing, but I controlled my pedaling so it wasn't so muddy by the time I got to the end of it. Another thing I could do is I could pedal every note. Something else you can do on this instrument is let's say you want to play a bunch of notes, but you then want to muffle just one. Well, this pedal controls everything on here, so there is a way to muffle just one note. So check this out. And if I want to take that one away. So what I did there is I muffled it with the mouth. So I could do it this way. Check this out. So what I did there is I let these notes ring while I play just a little simple melody here where I muffled each note with the mouth. So you can play this instrument with one mallet, two mallets, three mallets, four mallets, whatever. Uh, and that way it's just like the other keyboard instruments. And the reason why we call them keyboard instruments is they are set up just like a piano, the keys on a piano. We just don't have the full range. So this particular instrument is a uh, three octave vibraphone starting on F and ending on an F, two octaves above that, or three octaves above that. So there you go.